is up queen mafia what is up life with tay hey the bdids i got these on because i'm finna cook and my nails look a mess so but we finna it don't because my house queen period okay anyways we're gonna be making a sunday dinner a sunday dinner so what i got for the meat is well it's saturday but i like to get early because i'm kind of um, I got some ham. I didn't get the whole ham because it's only two of us. And I don't even eat ham. So, yeah. So, I got this right here. Sliced ham. It's thick pieces. Okay. And I also got some chicken because I, I wasn't sure, like, which one. But I got some chicken drums. So, I got ham and, and, and chicken drums. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know, I make no collard greens, honey. But, so I got the canned ones. I don't really like how these taste. They don't taste nothing like Gloria collard greens. Like, they're not seasoned enough. But I did get those. And then I got some yams. If I sound kind of funny, I'm kind of sick. So, excuse me. And then, last but not least, well, not last but not least, I got some cream cheese, some cheese, some margarine, and some cheddar cheese. So, I got this for the macaroni, but guess what? Guess what? I forgot the goddamn noodles for the macaroni. So, I got to wait to make that till my, um... My boyfriend get off work because I'm not going back to the store. I ain't doing it. But yeah, I got to wait. I'm going to make some baked mac and cheese. That's why I call that cheese. And I use cream cheese in my baked cheese macaroni. So yeah. And then I got some yellow cornbread. Yellow. I was look. I was at the store and then I seen yellow cornbread. But this is sweet. Sweet yellow, yeah. Just a little pack. And then some red velvet cake mix, okay, without the um, frosting though, because it's gonna be too sweet. But um, yeah, and I'll make it in this little cute little heart pan. I do got another one, but I'm, I'm gonna just make it in here because I never make cakes in here. And then I think yeah, that's it. So what we're having on the menu, and then I got some of this. I was trying to find some adobo, but so we having chicken, ham, mac and cheese, yams, yams and greens. That sounds pretty good, right? So I was going, I was real mo. Oh my god, I can't talk. I'm sick. I hate it. I was mainly excited about the um, macaroni, but we gotta wait. So. I'm turning it to 400. That's for the ham and the chicken. I'm pretty sure this ham is pre cooked, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check. Mm. I don't know. show you how to cook this though it just shows like a cooking time but i'm gonna cook it how i think i know how to cook it because i think it's done i think it's just gotta like you know warm it up or whatever and then the macaroni and cheese i'm gonna have to wait for like i said we just gonna cook the yams you only gotta warm the yams and greens up that's just like just put in the pot chicken and ham may take an hour or two and then the cake ain't gonna take that long and the cornbread so yeah um i don't have that many pans but i do have some pans up here but i don't want to like let me so let me for a holiday we had or whatever i don't think it was a holiday 
I think my boyfriend just got this to get it and I'm like dang this is a big pen so I was trying to figure out should I put the chicken and ham in here just like make it more space because the macaroni only oh, got this pan so I was going to use this pan for the mac and cheese but then I don't need so much stuff you know because it's only two of us so I also have let me see if I can find it or if it's in use I have um this pan right here for like i was gonna maybe make the baked and mac and cheese in here because like we don't need a lot of macaroni so you know only two people you know what i'm saying some noodles some cheese boom instead of making a big pan because i mean this should last two days two days because i'm not making that much this is like really like a tonight's and sunday dinner how many is the one, two, three, four, five? Five pieces of chicken, then ham. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna make the macaroni in here, right? I'm not trying to make that much macaroni. And then I'm gonna put the ham and chicken in here. And then a cake, all right. And not use that big pan, because that pan is way too big, okay? Thanksgiving is coming, so this is gonna come in handy. We're gonna keep that up there. Okay, I made my decision. So we're gonna use this for the macaroni whenever the noodles come. So I'm gonna actually take this out, put it in here, and then I promise I'm gonna get back to y'all. Right, y'all, so I'm gonna season my chicken after I cleaned it, it's all the skin off, stuff like that. So I was trying to look for my um, garlic powder, but I cannot find it. I don't know what happened to it. That's why you my chicken. I don't know what y'all use on your chicken, but this is what I use on my Um, yeah, but this is what I use on mine. So I'm gonna start with some some onion powder. Don't be scared to season your chicken because I remember when I was, I used to be scared to season my chicken, baby. Not no more. Especially I'm baking this chicken, so you know. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right, so now we're gonna use some black pepper and I never buy black pepper, but this came in a pack, so I just use it. I mean, the onion powder, it's not gonna really, you know, it's not gonna hurt anything or anything like that. Um, Cause it's not like a salt taste, it's just onions, basically. A plain onion, basically. And then a little bit of salt, cause we don't need that much. And then paprika, you can use, you don't have to. I use paprika cause that's what I want to use. A little color, you know what I'm saying? Not too much. And then I never use this, but it says season all. So um I guess we're gonna use this. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know about this, but we're gonna try it out. I I don't want my stuff too salty. Chicken, hold on. So I'm gonna get my sleeves ready. Right, so the ham, I'm not gonna like put down on there. People could like you could put honey on it, you know, glaze, glaze it down. But I ain't gonna do all of that. But okay. Okay. So I hope this is good enough. I don't want my chicken too salty, like I said. But I think I put enough on there. So this is how it looks. So the last thing that be, will be cooked is 
the macaroni and it will take a while to come but it'll be fine i'm not really tripping i'm not at all because you can reheat everything else up so let me show you how to check so this is how my chicken is looking I know it's not the best angle, but yeah, I'm sorry, guys. And then this is some peppery, yeah, some parlay flakes. Just for, I don't know, just look pretty, okay? It's not a taste to it, so. So I'm going to put it in this pan right here. And then lay my chicken. Lay my chicken down. Let me try to show y'all. Trying to show y'all how I lay the chicken. Trying to keep some space for the ham. So that's how the, um, I don't know if this is going to work, y'all. I might got to put the ham in something else because, or the chicken. Because I want the ham laid out. I don't want it. All right, right. so that fits. That's better. I put it in this pan, the chicken. So I'm going to put that in the oven, okay? And then I'm going to use my pan. Right, I got my yams on the stove. I ain't turned them on yet, but I got them. Some people bake this like with marshmallows and stuff, but we're not doing all of that, okay? All right, on to the next. We're gonna make some cornbread. I got my eggs already in there. I'm gonna put some milk. Okay. So they say, you know, they got a measurement, but I'm gonna put it till it's, you know, what I need it to be. So, you know, you can just put a little bit in there. And then mix. It's gonna be kind of hard to. I gotta get a new tripod. This ain't working. But after I finish mixing this up. And put it in a pan. I'll get it, y'all. So this is the red velvet cake. I got the um, I got the eggs and batter in. I'm gonna put the oil and the water in in a second. All right. So this is the cake batter, and this is my sprayed heart pan. So you want to spray it down because you don't you don't want it to you want it to come up. Okay, out your pan. All right. So my cornbread is done. I'm just going to cook those when everything else get done and then the greens and then the meat. Hey, don't, don't mind my stove. I got to wipe it down. With the yams, the collard greens, cornbread, then we got some, um, the, uh, red velvet. Let me move this. This is still hot. The ham is looking a little dry. That's the ham though. Hold on. This is, oh my god, come on. This is the ham. Why don't eat it? And then the chicken. And I'll show you the macaroni when it's here. Alright, you guys. So my noodles are boiling right now for the, the spaghetti. Not the spaghetti. The mac and cheese. What we're going to be using is margarine. You can use butter. But to me, I swear margarine and butter is the same thing. Cream cheese, you can use the half or the whole. I don't know yet. Cheddar. Cheddar, right? And then we going mozzarella, right? right? You don't have to mix your cheese. It's an option. You can use milk with a lot of milk. And you also can use cheese sauce. Cheese sauce is so in every bite. It's, it's just delightful. But I'm not a cheese sauce guy. So, I got to make it work with what i got and we using this pan like i said it's not dirty it's not rusty it's just i've been baking as you can see okay but anyways these are the cheeses we're gonna use i'm not gonna use all of it i hope not but yeah i'm gonna show y'all when i get to it all right y'all so i cut up some cheese 
that blocks of cheese y'all see i ain't cut all of them because it's sharp cheese and sharp cheese is rich it's really rich so i just cut up some of that and then we still got some mild cheddar and we got some mozzarella we ain't trying to be on the tongue okay some like what i showed y'all okay so that's what i got right now me using the same so we ain't gonna do it the same so what I'm gonna start with, I can't hold y'all up and do it at the same time. So I'm gonna put the butter and cream cheese down and get back All to right, y'all. So this is how it's looking so far. And I know y'all judging me like, ew, that looks to be. Let me tell you something, I ain't your mama. Okay, I'm Pastor's mom and he loves my food. So we gonna top, this is how it looks with the, this is how it looks with the like cream, cheese, and butter and cheese mix. So I'm gonna just top it off with some cheese. I can't do it. I'm gonna just show you that finish. Macaroni product. is cooking, and um, this is probably gonna be the last video. So I hope y'all like this video. Bye.